Next up, we have Dr. Jill DeRosa and Mr. Andrew Frey Gold. Dr. DeRosa has been in the Waldorf School for 20 days in her graduating class. So I guess she graduated in the top 20% of her class. She was student government president, yearbook president, and prom committee chair. Mr. Gould graduated from Kings Park High School. He was involved in the marching band and his stay of memory for 40 guys and dolls. Next up, it's Dr. Brendan Mitchell and Ms. Jo L. Hennessy. Ms. Hennessy is walking with her daughter, Michaela. Mr. Mitchell attended Austin Central School in New Hampshire. He graduated with 32 students in his senior class. His favorite memory was all the friendships he made. He played soccer and basketball. She loves field hockey and sports nights. Next up, come on down. We have Mr. Keo accompanying his beautiful daughters, Tessa and Taylor, along with Mr. Carmenetti. Mr. Keo graduated Washington High School. His favorite memory was meeting with my family in math class. His favorite activity was playing lacrosse. Mr. Carmenetti graduated from St. John the Baptist High School. His favorite memory was qualifying for nationals in winter track and field. Favorite activities, athletics, particularly soccer and track. Next up, we're going to have Peter Davis, Jack 
Marshall and Jake Wyman. Peter was involved with baseball. His favorite high school memory is winning battles. Jake participated in baseball also at Oceanside High School. His favorite memory is winning battle his senior year. Jake Wiseman wants to be remembered as a marvelous person and a charismatic student. After graduation, he is going to Tulane University. Next up, we have Peter Soltier, Ethan Call, and Jake Moskowitz. Peter Soltier, also known as Salty. Peter was involved with, base, with varsity football, varsity wrestling, and battle. After graduation, he plans to play football at SUNY Maritime and hopes to become a mechanic, a mechanical engineer. Ethan was also involved with football, basketball, and lacrosse at Oceanside High School. After graduation, he hopes to study sports, journalism, and college. <laughs> Jake Moskowitz was involved with football and wrestling. After graduation, he plans to play football at SUNY Maritime. <laughs> Next up, we have the Zelda Twins. First up, we'll have Cooper. At Oceanside High School, Cooper was in the Patriots Club, Club X, Key Club, Chess Club, and Senior Class Battle. Cooper wants to be remembered as funny, loving, intelligent, caring, compassionate, intelligent, strong, and confident. Is that all? Next up, we'll have Hayden. Hayden was involved with Take a Look at Teaching, Talent Club member, Key Club member, and Battle of the Classes. His favorite high school memory was joining the Battle of the Classes and going to see the Oceanside football team. He wants to be remembered as a calm, kind, generous, and loving soul who remembers you of the joy of being alive. He plans to go to Portland University and study physical education. Next up, we'll have Amanda Schmidt, Mikey First, and Angelina Palomino. Amanda was the captain of the varsity dance team. Her favorite high school memory was the football games and performing at them. Mikey, Mikey was a baseball player here at Oceanside High School. After graduation, he plans to, to play baseball at Staten Island University. His favorite memory of high school was playing football games. <laughs> Angelina, at Oceanside High School, Angelina participated on the varsity dance team, and her favorite memory was beating people at their homecoming. Next up, we'll have Gabriella Rulizito, Christian Dazuji, and Christian Payne. <laughs> Christian V. Christian is, a, is on the Oceanside Wrestling Team. He's a lightfoot basketball player and in the Best Buddy Club. He would like to be remembered as a smart, enthusiastic boy who is a friend to everyone. His favorite high school memory was returning back to Oceanside High School after returning from North Carolina when his parents tried to relocate and retire. Christian plans to attend the facilitation program at the Biscardi Center for Young Adults with Disabilities and start his career with Petco working with animals. <laughs> Next up we'll have Joey. Jerkazy and Tommaso Picaro. <laughs> Joey's favorite memory at Oceanside High School is having fun with his friends in the Section 309 and cheering for the Oceanside High School sailor. 
He wants people to remember him as a good friend who is fun and popular and someone who always tries his best. Thomas Hope's favorite memory was performing in the varsity show in both his junior and senior year. He wants people to remember him as a person who was able to tell you the day of the week for any day for any year, also known as the teller of all time. Next up, we have Kiara Danon and Kirsten Elbaz. <laughs> Kiara was the senior class treasurer, battle captain, and a member of Fee Club. She would like to be remembered as a kind and considerate person. Her favorite memory was the math and JP and sport night. She was the mascot, she was the key club vice president, Dika and softball, Sasso and worked with Cohen Children's Hospital as a bully ambassador. She will be attending Tulane University as an honor student majoring in business on the pre law track. <laughs> Next up we'll have Logan Lyson and Sydney Tower. Logan Lyson was a varsity football player. After graduation, he planned to play football at Sacred Heart. Sydney played volleyball at Oceanside High School. She's committed to Lehigh University. Maloney and Amanda Giuseppe. At Oceanside High School, Nick was on the soccer team and a member of Key Club. His favorite memory was learning about L, Jeffy, and English class. Amanda, after, after her, her favorite memories from Oceanside High School were battle with classes, football season, and sports time. Amanda hopes to go to college and succeed in becoming a nurse. <laughs> Next up, we'll have Alyssa Devetti and Matthew Pichel. <laughs> Alyssa's favorite memory of high school are the football games in the 309 section with her friends, and she plans to go to college to be an elementary school teacher. <laughs> Matthew's favorite memory was that of the classes after graduation. He hopes to go to college and get a good job. <laughs> Next up, we'll have Paige Vaselli and Colin McCarthy. Paige's favorite memory at Oceanside High School was senior year football season in the 309 section. After graduation, she plans to major in nursing. Colin's favorite high school memory was senior sunrise. It's the first day of school with his friends, and after graduation, he plans to go to college and pursue what he loves doing. Next up, we'll have Sam Schneider and James Wilson. memory was when he battled the classes and going to a breakfast going to all periods with his friends. After graduation, he planned to continue to play collegiate soccer and stay close with his friends. James was involved in varsity hockey, varsity golf, and best buddies club. 
when he battled the past, it was to stay remembered. Next 
will have Lindsay Chekhov and Hayden Green. Lindsay was a part of and captain of the blue team in the sports team. She will become an engineer and travel the world. Hayden participated in ice hockey and FIFA at Oceanside High School. After graduation, he would like to work on Wall Street. Next up, we'll have Olivia Ormiston and Gianna Lola. <laughs> Olivia was one of the captains of the Martian Swim and Dive Team. After graduation, she planned to go to college to become a high school chemistry teacher. <laughs> Gianna was captain of the Martian Volleyball Team. After graduation, she hopes to become a speed pathologist. <laughs> Next up, we'll have Emma Rado and Olivia Desar. where she is captain of the team, along with fellow senior, Ellie Morgan. After she graduates, she wants to go to college, but also wants to experience the world and hopefully one day travel the world. <laughs> Olivia has been involved in Oceanside Girls Marching Soccer, sources of strength in three honor societies. She plans on going to college to major in nursing and becoming a nurse practitioner. Next up, we'll have Sloan Brody and Grace Nastro. Sloan participated in soccer and Decca. After her favorite high school memory was being people of freshman year and senior year. Grace participated in lacrosse, sports night, and key club. Her favorite memory during her time at Oceanside High School was being people of freshman year and senior year. Next up, we'll have Emma Solinger and Lauren Mark. <laughs> Emma is a three-year member of the dance team, this year's treasurer of the National Honor Society and World Language Honor Society. Emma was our captain of data for the last two years, and last year's junior captain as well as this year's head captain of sports night. Emma was also crowned this year's homecoming team. Emma is looking forward to pursuing a career in medicine. Lauren was involved with dance team ninth through twelfth grade and, and captain senior year. Her favorite high school memory was football season because she was surrounded by all of her friends. Next up, we'll have Jules Bagalavente, Ellie Morgan, and Mackenzie Sakaris. <laughs> Jules is president of the Sources of Strength, captain of the white team for sports night, and treasurer of AIDS Awareness. After graduation, she plans to attend a four-year college to obtain a degree in business management and then travel the world. Ellie was captain of the gymnastics team and involved in FIFA and FIFA. 
our favorite high school memory on the football team. Mackenzie was the dance team captain and co-president of the youth council. Our favorite memory was the Mr. C, T, and the squirrel. Next up, we'll have Sophia Benino and Isab Isabella Simonator. <laughs> Sophia is a member of the Oceanside Varsity Band and co-vice president of the Oceanside High School Youth Council. Her favorite high school memory is going to practices for sports night. Isabella participated in the EVA Youth Council Cancer Awareness Club and National Honor Society. My favorite memory is Sports Night. Next up, we'll have Jessica Dizzee and Elena Azar. Jessica's favorite high school memories are football night football game, Friday night football game. After graduation, she plans on teaching at an elementary school. Elena's favorite high school memory is being a pequot at their homecoming. After she graduates, she plans to be in college and eventually be a successful orthodontist. Gianna Fusili. <laughs> Emily's favorite high school memory was Friday night home games. After graduation, she would like to become a speech pathologist. <laughs> Gianna played on the varsity soccer team for four years and was secretary of both key club she played for going to Manhattan College and Southern Elementary Special Education and Play Soccer. Next up we'll have Julia Levine and Ava Herzman. <laughs> Julia participated in JV and varsity soccer, sports night, and treasurer of FIFA. Her favorite memory was spending every day with her best friend and sports and sports night season. Ava, her favorite memory was Friday night football game, and she wants to graduate college and move to California. Gabriella Conti and Lexi Kenna. <laughs> Gabriella's favorite high school memory was sports night. After graduation, she would like to pursue a career in nursing. <laughs> Lexi's favorite high school memory was football season and sports night. After graduation, she plans to go to college and travel the world. Next up, we'll have Lily Noble, Gracie Greenberg, and April Alton. Memories are senior sunrise and homecoming after graduation. 
She plans to go to a four-year school and major in biology to become a doctor. Gracie is president of Swing Choir and is a member of she is a member of the She's a member of SBN Group number 132. President of Fun X as well as Treasurer Section Leader of the Symphonic Choir. Gracie plans to study musical theater and direct it for musical theater. She would like to help make theater more accessible and in Inclusive. <laughs> April, our favorite memory of high school was prom and junior year. After graduation, April would like to go to college and eventually travel the world. <laughs> Next up, we have Zoe Napolitano and Kyle Morris. Zoe's favorite in high school memory was first competing at this major license in the Holiday Baseball. But by senior year, we partnered to try to win it all. My goal after graduation, or her goal after graduation, is to attend college to study nursing. The ultimate plan is to become a nurse practitioner. Kyle's favorite memory was teaching with Mrs. Barnes after graduation. He wants to major in education. Next up, we have Nicole Bergen and Ariel Landon. <laughs> Nicole's favorite high school memory is sports night. It has always been so much fun and is a great way to meet new friends. After she graduates, she, wants to, she plans to attend college to major in nursing. She really hopes to become a nurse someday. Ariel is involved in basketball, pizza, and pizza. After graduation, she plans to major in math and statistics. Next up, we have Emily Ripken and Josie Zapoli. After graduation, Josie plans to grab to join the Peace Corps. <laughs> Emily's favorite memories at Oceanside High School include having experiences with close friends at football games and clubs. After graduation, she hopes to travel the world a lot to Europe to study bi biomedical engineering wherever she ends up. Next up, we have Andy Carduno, Emma Pellegrino, and Brianna Panthers. Andy's favorite high school memory was being a part of the, football, the high school football team. He plans to be a teacher and a future school administrator. Emma's favorite memory of high school is when Rich, the security guard, taught her how to drive. After graduation, she is going to school to become a Botox lip filler nurse. <laughs> Brianna's favorite high school memory was participating in sports night. It was so much fun. After graduation, Brianna plans to go to SUNY Oneonta to major in chocolate education. Next up, we have Andrew Gricker. Andrew Gricker was involved with the varsity lacrosse team, varsity football team, and a key club. After graduation, he will be attending SUNY Oneonta and making money and taking long walks on the beach.
Next up, we have Chris Valella and Jessica Dadon. Chris wants to be remembered as being courageous and different. After graduation, he would like to continue his artistic journey and go to college. who will always be there for you. After graduation, she wants to live out her childhood here and become a cop and help out as many people as she can. She also wants to become the best version of herself. Next up, we have Alyssa Sosa. Her major will be digital art and animation. She will be living life the happiest she can be, sharing her craft with the world. Next up, we have Laura Linowitz and Jacqueline Bolton. with her favorite teachers. After graduation, after she graduates, she would like to study zoology. <laughs> Jacqueline's favorite memory of high school was being inducted into the Aspen Truth 132, her theater family. After graduation, she plans to continue studying theater in college and hopes to appear in movies and on Broadway. Next up we have Darian Boysen, Nino Escaldo, and Ava Rendazzo. He wants to be remembered as, as kind and creative. Nina's favorite memory of high school were all the football games, especially when the football team beat massive people. After she graduates, she wants to go to school in Florida and discover a career path she is passionate about and become successful in. She wants to make enough money to take her family around the world. Ava's favorite high school memory was sports night, and after graduation, she plans to do art. Next up, we have Ariel Benjamin and Janine Chi. Ariel was active in Model Congress, Art Honor Society, Music Honor Society, Math Honor Society, and, Nash and the National Honor Society. After graduation, she plans to pursue art in some way, and she is going to college for an art education. Janine was involved with the student government, JV and varsity tennis, science Olympiads, and the Asian American Culture Club at Oceanside High School. She hopes people remember her as the girl that people can always reach out to if they ever needed help for anything. Frank Kimberly and Rachel Landon. Frank wants to be remembered as being good at juggling. After he graduates, he would like to juggle. Rachel's favorite memory at high school 
was New Year's her senior year. After graduation, she, she, after she graduates, she would like to become an aerospace engineer. Joseph was involved in the 
Robotics Club, athletes, and game design programs. He plans to go to college to study computer science. Next up, we have Zoe Bailey and Alexandro Camacho. <laughs> Zoe was involved in the robotics club as president. He plans to go to college and pursue a degree in engineering. <laughs> Alexandro was the president of the SBA Troop 132 and the associate general chair of the Model Congress. A favorite memory has been all the fun times with a friend who she loves so dearly. Leah was the secretary of the SBA Troop 132. She's a member of Model Congress, and she has done every show possible since freshman year. Her favorite high school memory is participating in Ocean Side High School. Hey, right up to the Matthew's favorite high school memory was going out to eat, and occasionally she came with friends. After a long stretch of days, after high school, he came to open a fair company where he could lose the art so they may have an outlet for their emotions and creativity. <laughs> Next up, we have Alina Shaman and Shamaya Mitchell. Literary Magazine, Vice President of the Youth Council, Member of Sources of Strength, School Drama Productions, National World Language Honor Society. After graduation, she plans to own a collection of Red Bottom Hills. <laughs> Samaya would like to be remembered for her kindness, her ability to make people laugh, and her outfits to school. After graduation, she plans to get a doctorate for normal psychology. Next up, we have Ethan Lunar and Summer Huber. <laughs> Ethan wants to be remembered as original and his own person. He plans to go on to college for fashion design. <laughs> Summer was a part of the Destiny Troop, Try In, and Model Congress. Her favorite high school memory is putting on the Despian review that, I, that she directed and seeing everyone in the audience cheering us on. She plans on pursuing a career in entertainment and business. Jasmine Deus and Alessandra Santoro. <laughs> At Oceanside High School, Jasmine was in Despian Troop 132. After graduation, she hopes to join the WWE. <laughs> Alessandra would like to be remembered as being over five feet tall. After graduation, she hopes to be in the NBA.
again this time for the final walk. We have three girls that would just like to walk for the final time.